Hey friends, this is really gonna be fun today. We're doing bubble painting. I know, this is gonna be exciting. So this is kind of what it looks like when it's finished. Isn't that great? So we're gonna let the bubbles paint our picture and then we get to add like the tree trunk or if you wanna add flowers or even just write your Bible verse across it. You could do that if it, if it went with your Bible lesson today, it'd be perfect. So. Anyway, we're gonna do this bubble painting. Let me show you. I did go ahead and put down some newspaper just because it's bubbles. <laughs> and we're gonna use food coloring, so you know that's gonna be important. If you have a craft uh, tablecloth or something that you often use, a vinyl cloth that is okay if it gets stuff on it, you're gonna let it dry and fold up. Just do that if you need to. So I've got some styrofoam cups here. And I've kind of learned with kids that um, if I have paint pots or maybe even like these cups that if I even put a piece of tape underneath and help it hold in place that it really helps a lot now it may not be the same with uh, the newspaper it might still move but at least it keeps it from being spilled too quickly and you have a chance so I put about an inch of water inside and now I'm gonna put some um, some of this dishwashing liquid and that's a, a pretty good squirt in each one and stir it up. If you have a spoon or something, I guess you could stir it up because when it goes in, it really does need to be stirred around so it kind of dissolves and blends in. Of course, it looks like I'm doing all blue now, but get that all stirred up good. Okay. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna add our colors. So let's try some green. You know, it just takes a few drops. And I wanna try some red. Let's see what that does. Do you know you can actually get neon uh, colors as well? Might be worth a try. Here's the blue. Oh, the blue, the blue has been used. <laughs> There's no blue. Yellow. <laughs> well, you never know. Somebody needed a lot of blue. As we share all these things. All right, now I'm gonna stir these with the straws. So here's the green. Stir that all up. Doesn't take much to mix that. Mix the, the red. I've got a pink straw here to help me remember that's the red. All right. Those children, they're gonna need smocks. They're gonna do this. It's not blue, because that was all ran out. So it's yellow, but that would help. You could always write the colors on the side if you don't think you can remember which ones they are when you look in there, because sometimes they don't always look the same. So here's what you do. Are you ready? You have to blow bubbles. And just as it's starting to overflow, you remove the straw and you touch your paper to it. And it makes the little imprint. Okay, let's try another color. I'm gonna have to taped it, remember? Oh, look at that. That one got tall. So let's see what it looks like. Ah, that's nice, isn't it? All right, let's see the yellow. get to add this touch it good and there's the bubbles for that one so you can keep repeating it again and again until every till you got all the colors you wanted on there as dark as you wanted so I'll lay that out here and let me show you these other parts so now we can add the tree 
or we can add the Bible verse if we want to do that to it. And at this point when it's dry, and if you need to hurry them, by the way, you can get a hair dryer out and you can dry them. This paper will dry just fine and it won't mess up the, the painting at all. But you could use a permanent marker or you could use a water-based marker. It won't matter because it's all dry and draw the tree or the flower or the Bible verse on there. It'll be just fine. So I'm going to write Jesus. Very good. All right. And if I want to come back in with some other colors and highlight that, I can. Super easy to do. And it makes it just look all the much better. So maybe this is something you'll get to do with your kids in Brave. I don't think I would do very many at a time, but it's not an all class uh, thing at once because there is food coloring involved. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe don't do this on the Easter Sunday. You know what I mean? That would not be good. All right, the final part. There you go. So what do you think? We can make all different designs, writer bubble versus pictures, it doesn't matter. But this is bubble painting and it's a lot of fun. I think you'll like it. <laughs>